everyone, thanks for joining me today. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be discussing uh, spruce top pots. Um, this is, as much as I hate winter, this is probably my favorite container out of any container that I do in the year. You just get to have so much fun and be creative. You're using fresh cut product and dried elements. Um, so with that, we'll, we'll dive into this first container here. Um, what I'm going to be putting together is a, a kit that we're going to be offering on our Square site, sergeantscarts.com. Um, this kit happens to be called the traditional kit. And we'll start off with, um, each kit has a bundle of, of evergreens. And the kits are really designed for a 12, maybe 14 inch container. If you had anything larger than that, um, we'll have to add maybe some spruce or other greens to kind of supplement the kit and, and fill in your container. Um, so again, we've got our greens. These are spruce. This is kind of the, the backbone. This will give us the height and the structure that we're looking for in the container. Um, we've also got some pine and arborvitae that will be included in every kit. Um, and then in this kit, we've also got three Jeffrey cones, some lotus pods, a bundle of magnolia, which is beautiful. The top of the leaf is dark green. The bottom is velvet, and velvety and brown. Um, and those will hold up all winter long. Um, it's a nice broadleaf evergreen from the south. The south. Um, this kit will also come with a bundle of incense cedar. You've got that nice dark green um, flowing foliage with the little yellow cones on the tips. And five stems of red twig dogwood. All right, with that, I think we'll start building our container. So when I start the container, I'm going to start with the tallest element in the container. In this container, um, that's going to be our spruce tops. We'll build out the container and then we'll start to add the other elements. So, there we go. And just before you put your spruce tips in, you'll kind of want to give your tips a little bang on the table just to help loosen them up a little bit. And then also give every um, spruce tip a fresh cut. Uh, they, they have recently been cut. They will take up a little bit of moisture as you put them in the pot. Um, and so we'll start with the tallest spruce tip right in the center. So you're gonna go ahead and sometimes you have to figure out how to leverage this and get it down. But you wanna push it down at least four to six inches. So it's, it's firmly in there. And I place this one right in the center Again, that's the tallest tip in my bundle here. The next four bundles will be placed at noon, three, six, and nine. So we'll place the remaining four bundles on the outside edges. Again, a fresh cut there. And when you place these, this next um, ring in, you can place them at a little bit of an angle, maybe a 20 degree angle, so they're kind of sticking out a little bit. Just that will uh, help give the pot some width. rotation here for my last tip and insert that there um, some people call these spruce feet or spruce toes if you'd like um, you can 
kind of plug these back into your container. Um, you're certainly able to use those. That will help fill in any of those, those gaps that you might have between your spruce tips. So there we go. All right, next step, I'm going to put in the next tall element. I think I'll place my dogwood in here. Um, and I, I really like to bunch um, the dogwood. So I'm just going to take two or three stems at a time. Again, you wanna to try to get that down about four to six inches so they, it doesn't fall apart. And I'm going to put all five stems on one side. You could also certainly divide those up um, throughout the pot to give you some height um, spread out throughout the pot. And as we work down the next element um, would be arborvitae. The arborvitae are a little bit more rigid. They do stand up a little bit. So I'm going to plug that arborvitae kind of in between my spruce tips where we can see there's there's a little void there. So I'll place the arborvitae in there like so. Again, another quarter turn. There we go. All right, and white pine, white pine really likes to drape. Um, so I'll use the white pine to kind of begin to soften the lip of the pot here. And some of these boughs are quite long. I'll usually cut them a couple times. Um, you're getting a nice little whirl of foliage there. Um, and we can plug that in like so. And I'm really angling that foliage in so it covers the edge of the pot and helps um, soften that, that outer edge. All right. last two foliage items again magnolia and the incense cedar I'm just going to fill in the rest of the pot here with the incense with the magnolia and the incense cedar again don't forget to uh, give all your fresh greens a fresh cut You may have noticed if you saw me, watched me build this container, I kind of left a little spot on the front here. Um, that's where I'm going to cluster the pine cones and the lotus pods. Um, this would, this is a great way to build a container if it's viewed primarily from one side. Um, so on the front, either side of the front door, you're really only viewing the containers as you're walking up. Um, so I'd like to create a focal point as you're walking up and kind of cluster your pods and cones right up front for the, the most impact, right? So 
Some of these stems are a little bit long, so you may need to cut those down just a, a touch. So I'll start with the, the pine cones. Again, these are Jeffrey cones. They're not quite as large as the sugar cones, um, but they'll really fill up a container quite nicely. And my lotus pods. Just sort of place these around the outside. All right. It's that easy. <laughs> um, again, this, I hope that you've gotten a few tips here on how to construct the container, um, proper technique. Um, again, this was the traditional kit. Uh, with the red twig dogwood, magnolia, pine cones, and lotus pods. We also have two other kits that we've um, assembled. This would be, this is the red kit. So it comes with that same spruce tip bundle that we saw earlier, uh, right here. And then it also comes with this three pack of little mini birch logs, and then two all weather red berry picks. So these are the softer berries. They're, you're able to put these outside and they'll last all winter long without cracking or freezing. Um, and certainly you can add other greens to this, but it's a great starter kit. Um, that's common kind of Northwoods theme. The last kit here, this is, we're calling this one blue. So this had that same starter kit and we've got uh, blue kobu balls down here and then the white wicker star pack um, you'll receive both of those and then also in this kit with the addition um, in addition to the white pine and cedar that you've received in your starter pack you'll also receive blue jasper and then the uh, blue juniper um, and in this kit, you also have the option to purchase two red berry stems if you really want to um, enhance your container. But as always, uh, you know, um, when you're constructing a, a winter container, have fun, be creative. There's no right or wrong combination, um, but we have many different uh, design bouquets in stock. We've got spruce tips and all the greens, garlands, reeds, that's all available now. Um, give us a call or stop in today. Thank you.